Hey Bananas, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Really quickly, I just want to say I use natural lighting for my not in front of the mirror videos and the sun has been going in and out of the clouds so this lighting could be everywhere. I'm just going to throw that out now so I don't have to apologize for it later. Secondly, welcome to today's video. Today's video was supposed to be something different but I'm really excited and I promise you this is a different video because I'm wearing, I think, the exact same shirt I wore in my last video or two videos ago. I don't know, but I'm wearing the exact same shirt as I recently wore. I swear to you, I washed my clothes and it, it was just a coincidence. I promise you. This is a completely different, like, day. I promise. Today's video is actually going to be how I lost 10 pounds in, like, six and a half weeks, seven weeks, and... I first want to disclaim this. Also, I am not an expert on health. I am not a doctor, and I do not claim to be an expert on anything. Anything. Except the Queen Band. I am not an expert on anything. I am not a doctor. I am not in school to be a doctor. Uh, not, not, none of that. Everything that I'm telling you is my experience, things that have been told to me, things that I have read, you know, this is all my personal experience and what has worked for me so far. What works for me might not work for you, or it might. Try it. I don't know. So, how I lost 10 pounds in 6 to 7 weeks. The title will say exactly the amount. I, I don't know off the top of my head. But 6 to 7 weeks, I lost 10 pounds. I think that's like the third time I said that. So... The biggest ways that I have done this is, the first one is I recently was really motivated to start working out. Like, all of a sudden, like one day I was like, tomorrow I'm working out, period. Cool. I actually have a playlist, it's growing, of workout videos. Obviously, since the gyms in my area, I believe, are still closed. They're supposed to be opening soon, apparently. They're still closed, I believe, as of the day of filming and the day of uploading. If, if that changes, I'll let you know. But the gyms are closed, so I have been doing workout videos on YouTube. And a lot of them are from this vlog channel that I watch. And honestly, I'll link their workout channel down below because their workouts are high intensity and like for people who I feel like have more of the stamina for working out, definitely not for like beginner beginners. You know what I mean? You have to kind of build up to that kind of intensity. So I have been working out, and my workout schedule, if there is a seven-day period, I am working out five of those seven days. I will work out for two days, and then break on the third, and then work out for the next two days, and then break on the third. So every three days is a rest day. And I personally, my routine is I just kind of like go down the body. So I'll start with full body, and then go to arms, to abs, to butt, to legs, back to full body. So that's that's what I've been doing. I have a gym membership and I never really used it too much. There would be times when I would be motivated to go to the gym like a couple times a week, but then like it would go away. But I have been working out on this workout schedule slash routine for three, almost four weeks now. And I've been sticking to it. I so far like knock on wood, have not lost any motivation to work out. And I, before my workout, I start every day with a glass filled with one cup of water. And I drink that before I work out, before I eat anything, before I drink anything that's not water. And I'll cover this a little bit so you don't know where I go to school. I have a 32 ounce bottle that I fill up to the 32 ounces. There's a one thousand milliliter but I fill it up to the 32 ounces and I looked it up and I believe four of those 32 ounces equals a gallon. I find it for some reason difficult to do four even though if I really like focus on it I probably could but I try to drink at least two 32 bottles a day if I get three in great but I always try to get at least two in for the day and honestly I this is like the third summer in a row I've tried to do like the gallon bottle challenge and the last two summers it just didn't 
work out. It could just be because we're still like, I'm still not at work, unfortunately. So I have the time to put into drinking my water, doing my routines, and really focusing on like what I'm eating and all that stuff. So I'll have to keep y'all updated on how this goes once I go back to work because I do know that my workout routine is gonna have to go from morning workouts to evening workouts because I do work in the morning. So I'll probably have to, you know, switch that up and then hopefully hit the gym. I don't know, I'm praying. I will risk coronavirus to go to the gym at this point. So that is the first thing. The second thing is I have been keeping like a food diary and like counting my calories and working with a calorie deficit. Now, before we go crazy, I am not doing anything to deprive my body. I am not, you know, keeping food away if I'm hungry. If I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. Like, honestly, if you are hungry, eat. It's great. So I, I do not deprive my body. I eat when I'm hungry and I won't eat when I'm not hungry. Like if I'm bored, I have been doing really, really well. There, there comes the sun again. I've been doing really well at not eating when I'm bored, which is something I struggled with in the past. And I'm gonna quickly, just briefly explain what a calorie deficit is. If you don't know, do, it a, do a quick Google search. Like I said in my Black Lives Matter video, I believe that was the one, educate yourself, please. I encourage you to educate yourself, especially on anything that has to do with your body, your rights, the rights of other people. Like, you know, for human, for, for the human person, including yourself, educate yourself, okay? So calorie deficit is when you set a certain amount of calories that is still healthy, of course, because you do not want to deprive your body. That's not, that's not gonna, that's not good for anybody. For example, my calorie limit is 1800. Now, with drinking a bunch of water and the next thing I'm going to talk about, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but I do not get hungry throughout the day like I used to. Like I have eaten, I think maybe twice today so far and it's only been snacks. Like I, I just do not get hungry the way that I used to. And I'll explain the second part of that after this. 1800 calories a day. I try not to go over that. I mean, I, I, I have, but it's fine. And I mean, the whole point is to obviously not eat that much. The good thing about the whole idea of the calorie deficit is like, say that it's like, you know, eight o'clock at night and you were just genuinely hungry and you wanna eat something and you're still within your deficit, go ahead and eat it. You know what I mean? Like it's great to eat at eight o'clock at night, let me tell you. So that is the second thing that I've been doing. I've been counting my calories to an extent. I've been doing things more towards the serving size. I don't just go all out anymore. I kind of pay attention to the serving size as well to stay within those calories. And I keep, like I said, a food diary and I don't really call it a f I don't, I don't know if I like calling it a food diary. That sounds so strict. Like I just write down what I eat. I write down like the date and the time. So if I look back, I can see like how often I'm eating. And a lot of the time there's like a good amount of hours in between each thing that I'm eating. Like I said, because of all the water that I'm drinking and the third thing I'm going to talk about. So like I said, I probably poorly explained what a calorie deficit is and I probably got some stuff wrong. Like I said, I am not claiming to be an expert. Google it yourself and if that's something that you think would be good for you. I chose 1800 as my calorie deficit number to meet and not surpass every day because according to this website that I will find and probably like put a picture in or something, that will allow me to lose up to a pound a week. Now, I'm going to reiterate this again. I am not doing anything to deprive my body. My body is being nourished. I am trying to eat better. And like I said in my last video, I'm still working with non-dairy products. And some of the things that are non-dairy, I probably will continue to use. I can't get rid of cheese, y'all. Like, this has been hard. I cannot get rid of cheese. I love cheese so much. So I'm not depriving my body. I am taking care of it, I promise you. And the third thing, actually, 
is oh some some oh my god that sounds really bad the third thing is actually a weight management supplement and it is something that you just put into your mouth swallow and it helps you curb your appetite and it helps you with your cravings and it really helps with the weight loss process i cannot say what it is i'll have a and i'll have a link to it down below if you want to look into what it is with like directions in the description box as to how to find it so i'll leave that down there i just can't say what exactly it is because i want to stay compliant so that is the third thing that i have been using and that's really it like those are really the three things that i have been doing and it's working for me so far like i said i'm down 10 pounds i my goal is to be like high school skinny again so we'll have to you know we'll see how that goes if you've been trying to lose weight keep going do not lose that motivation do not lose that inspiration find things that work for you that still give your body nutrients and protein and do not deprive yourself that is not going to help because if you deprive yourself there's a good chance you're just going to binge and then bring it all back so my advice to you if you were trying to lose weight keep the motivation and inspiration drink water honestly like i can't like here's here's what i've been experiencing if like i'll weigh myself in the morning and then I'll have my water. And then as I'm drinking my water throughout the day, obviously I'm going to the bathroom. And like the like a lot of the weight at this point is like water weight. So it's like it goes up, but then it slowly goes down because I'm losing the water. So drink a lot of water. And plus that's just good for your body. Like it's really good for your body. And just remember why you started your weight loss journey in the first place. You know, whatever your goal is, if you want to, you know, lose weight because you don't like how you look, if you want to lose weight because you're genuinely unhealthy, if you want to take care of your body like me, go for it. Just please be safe, eat when you're hungry, and if honestly, this is a little trigger warning, eating disorders, if anything becomes way too serious and you are starting to become unhealthy or fall into an eating disorder, please, please, please get some help so you can save your body, save your mind. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe today. And if you want to know what I'm going to be up to, all my social media will be listed down below like always, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!